Okay, let's discuss Lewis Rees Zamet's move from rugby union to a potential career in the NFL. Now, this is through the International Player Pathway program that the NFL set up following their successful, you know, uh, foray into Europe with the London series back in the day after they came in 2007 the NFL uh, to London for the first game. The NFL introduced this International Player Pathway program. Now, we've seen a few um, ex-Rugby League players from the NRL come over. Uh, one is uh, Malitia is still with, well, got a, got a, got a job with the uh, Philadelphia Eagles in the end after making the switch from the NRL and the South Sydney Rabbitohs, where he was a bit part player. Uh, Valentine Holmes um, tried with the New York Jets. And, of course, the disgraced uh, Jared Hayne actually made some regular season games uh, with the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, and it was an ill-fated spell. Uh, his return to the NRL was disastrous, and he's obviously subsequently ended up in prison uh, for various offences. Um, and there's ongoing legal issues uh, over in California. So that's the rugby league side of things. The rugby union side of things, obviously we've had Christian Wade, the former uh, Wasps and England winger. And there'll be a lot of comparisons between Christian Wade and Rhys Zamet. Now, Rhys Zamet is a lot younger than all of those players were when they decided to switch from either rugby union or rugby league uh, to uh, American football. He's far younger. He's only 22. Uh, he burst onto the scene as a teenager and was seen as the next big marketable star for Welsh rugby. Is he Wales' his best player? No. Is he the reason that Wales will win games? Well, he scores tries. But he's not the only reason. He's not the playmaker, he's the finisher. He finishes the move that the playmakers in the, half, in the in scrum half and fly half and inside centre create with the other outside backs. He finishes moves that other players create. So that's what a winger does. Um, and he is a pure speed merchant. He really is. So the surprising aspect to this is how sudden uh, this um, uh, decision by Lewis Rees Samet is. That's the surprising aspect of it. Uh, but you've got to look at the backdrop. There are massive, massive financial problems in club rugby union. Wales, especially, is struggling financially. Um, the Welsh game is in dire financial straits. Now, another issue that Rhys Samet would have had is he's playing outside of Wales. He's playing in England and with the Welsh selection rules. After you reach a certain age or a certain amount of caps, you have to be based in Wales to be eligible for selection unless there's exceptional circumstances. He was a Gloucester player. So he's playing in the English Premiership. Now, in England, the club game is in crisis as well. Uh, obviously, there were rumours surrounding Harry Ar Henry Arundel, for example, just after the World Cup. Former London Irish player, he's playing elsewhere now, that he might go to the NRL. He's obviously ended up signing in France. Again, not eligible for selection. So we have to look at the, the club finances in the UK, uh, especially in Wales and England, and the selection rules uh, for those countries because the club game cannot sustain the salaries that players are expecting to get. Uh, also, rugby union is trying to compete in a very congested sports market where there is limited money uh, to be earned. Okay, uh, Football is dominating uh, the sports market in the UK. Uh, it, European football, uh, association football, soccer as North Americans would call it, is the dominant sport. And I do expect a lot of Americans, North Americans, to watch this video if they are so inclined because it's an NFL uh, topic and he's, it's creating shockwaves uh, on social media. Now, the comparisons will be made to those other rugby union, rugby league players, and only one of them is still playing in the NFL. Now, of those compar comparable players who play a similar role, so an outside back, None of them stuck around very long. Christian Wade never made a starting regular season game for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, Jared Hayne, his brief spell was nine games um, in the regular season, and he left in disgrace. There were legal issues. He's since gone to prison in Australia. Valentine Holmes with the New York Jets played some preseason games and did the International Player Pathway program. Uh, he's now gone back to the NRL with the North Queensland Cowboys and is playing better now than what he was when he left to go to the NFL originally. He's probably playing better now as a player. He's a better player now. Uh, it did take him a good season or two to get back to rugby league speed, uh, but he's a better player. What can we expect from Reece Samet? Well, he's younger than all those players. He is younger, and that is an advantage to him. 
Um, I think, I think in comparison to Christian Wade, who'll be the the like for like comparison, he's he's also bigger. He can stand up for himself a little bit more. What role he will end up getting if he does succeed? Could he be a kick returner, uh, a running back, a wide receiver? We shall see. We shall see if he can make the transition from rugby union to American football. We'll see if it is a success or is the NFL player pathway program really more for show than substance because so few players have actually gone through and, and made it into the NFL. So we'll see what happens. But I, I think it's a lot of a lot of it is money motivated. Um I, I do see a lot of um issues with the game financially in the UK, rugby union at club level, and even at the union level as well with centralised contracts, I do see that financial struggle that the sport is having uh, as a potential potential reason why he's decided to make the sport switch. So there we go. Place your thoughts on Lewis Rees Summit uh, quitting rugby union to, to give the NFL a go. And um, let's see what people discuss. Uh, place your thoughts in the comment section below. But for me, for now, it is goodbye. And I'll have some more content for you very, very soon.